Hello everyone, welcome back to a second video here this Sunday. I wanted to share this with you. I was just about to go to bed and I happened to stumble across this article about the gamer and it made me say, what? Anyway, The Last of Us showrunner says Spore still might make an appearance as long as the show's up for part two's best scene, okay? The Last of Us showrunner Craig Mazin has responded to criticisms of the infection's origin changing and revealed that spores might make an appearance in the future. Now, I'm going to be honest. When I first found out that there wasn't going to be spores, I was kind of angry. And then I read about the tendrils, and I was like, yeah, that could be, that's a pretty good change. And it, it, it'd be neat to see it. But I was still kind of missing the spores. But let's get back to this article. Prior to its release, HBO's The Last of Us looked like a pretty straight adaptation of the game. Save for a select few characters having expanded roles, the first episode changed that perception a little. However, as the cause for the cordyceps infection has seemingly changed from spores to being spread by contaminated flour and then being passed along by tendrils emerging from the infected patient's person's mouth, I, I, didn't, I don't know that it said flour, did it? I, we haven't seen that. Maybe we just don't know that yet. Maybe that'll come up and infect the next episode. Um, this has led to some criticisms from fans who preferred the virus's original airborne danger instead of it permanently ruining cookies and sandwiches for Joel and Ellie. What? Flour? Really? It didn't come from fl Yeah, that, fl that flour spelled F-L-O-U-R. It didn't come from flour. Although spores are no longer the focus, it seems that they still exist in the version of The Last of Us. As showrunner Craig Mazin told the Washington Post that we still may see them in the show's future. Mazin said, It's less about, oh, the spores don't work, because I have to say, you may see spores yet. It's not so much that they can't exist in this world. It's really more like when a character is transmitting this to another character, what can we do that's slightly different than just a chomp? During the interview, Mazin also said, that it's not out of the question for sports to appear in the show in some form, but it won't be during this first season. If we get a second season of The Last of Us, which we know we're going to, it's possible that it comes back as another way for people to get infected. That should be comforting to fans of the series as spores do show up in quite a few iconic scenes, although mostly due to their impact on gameplay and signifying a huge horde ahead. One story-based scene they'll need to be around for is in The Last of Us Part 2 when Ellie's mask breaks underground and reveals her immunity to, D to Dina. Yeah, I mean, that's a really good scene, and uh, I could see where that would need, you know, I mean, well, how, how could they bring them back, though? Um, I guess we could do that with the Shamblers, or, um, yeah, I mean, I could see that coming back with the Shamblers. That, that would be a way to add it back to the show if they if they felt like it needed it. What do you think? Should they be added back in Season 2? That's pretty much all I have for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.